Hey folks, I am Shalin Badola. I am currently pursuing my B.Tech from GBPIT Body Gadwal, and today we are going to discuss this problem, my dear friend. So let's look at the problem statement. The problem statement says that Moto and Tomo are two good friends, and they decided to play a game. The game consists of a sequence, and in this sequence, Moto will select the first element, and then Tomo will select the second element and add this element to his score, and then third element by Moto, and then so on. We are also given a condition that Tomo can swap at most k elements. So he can swap at most k pairs of element in this sequence to make himself win. So we have to tell that if after swapping these k, k pairs of elements can Tomo win the game. Okay. So let's look at the example. So if this is the sequence we are given. Okay. So first element will be take, taken by Motu and the second will be taken by Tomu. The third element will again be taken by Tomu and then so on. Fifth by Motu and then last by Tomu. So the overall score of Motu will be 5 plus 4, 9 plus 8, 17. So the overall score of Motu will be 17. And that of Tomu will be 6 plus 2 plus one which is nine so we can say that moto score is strictly greater than that of tomo so moto wins the game and we will print minus we will print no okay but this condition is given that we can perform at most k swaps okay so let's look at the test cases so let's look at the test cases this one we are given k equal to one and n equal to five okay so these are the elements and the motor will select the first element, then Tomu, then Moto, and so on. So let, now let's just write down the elements taken by both of them, Moto and Tomu. The elements taken by Moto are 2, 6, and 4. Whereas the element taken by Tomu are 4 and 3. 4 and 3. Now the overall score of Moto is 12. Whereas the overall score of Tomo is 7, which is less than that of Moto's. Okay, but we are given k equal to 1. If k was 0, we can already say that Moto is the winner of the game and we will print no. And but if we are given k equal to 1, that means that Tomo can at, at most swap one element, one pair of element. So let's just say Tomo swaps 2 and 3. If he swaps 2 and 3, the Motu score will be 13 and the Tomu score will decrease by 1 which is 6. So it is going to worse the case. So what we can do is to select the least element from Tomu's list and swap with the highest element in the Motu's list. So that's how Motu score, Tomu score will be going to increase immensely. So we select 3 and 6 and swap them. So let's just swap in these elements in the original sequence. So Moto selects now 3 and Tomo selects 6. Now the overall score of Moto becomes 2, 3 and 4 which is 9. And that of Tomo becomes 4 and 6 that is 10. Now the score of Tomo is going to be greater than that of Moto's. So we'll print yes. After swapping one element we get the score of Tomo greater than that of Moto's. So this was the test case that's why we are printing yes here. So now let's just look at the approach of this problem. So let's let this be the sequence we are given first element taken by Moto and then Tomo and then so on. So these are the elements that are selected by Moto and these are the elements that are selected by Tomo. It is quite obvious by now that Tomo has to increase his score and in order to increase his score let's just first of all take calculate the overall score of both of them it, this will be 3 plus 4 7 plus 6 13 plus 8 21 and the that of tomo will be 5 plus 5 10 plus 7 plus 8, 1 that is going to be 18 so we can see here moto is giving the winning the game so what we can do is we can swap let's just suppose we are given k equals to 1 we can swap at most one pair of element 
which element we are going to swap which pair of elements we are going to swap which can give us the highest value of overall score of tomo so how we are going to get this we can get this by selecting the least element of tomo and the highest element of moto and by swapping these elements we can increase the score of tom tomo by plus 7 because we are swapping one with eight so score is going to be increased by 7 and score of moto will be going to decrease by 7 because we are swapping eight with one okay so let's just suppose we are given k equals to 2 we have to we can swap another pair of elements what we can do we can select the second highest element which is 6 here from moto's list and the second second least element from the tomo's list which is 5 and we we can swap these two elements after swapping the moto's tomo score is going to be increased by 1 and the moto score will decrease by 1 okay so suppose we are given k equals to 3 we can swap another pair of element we can select the third most smallest element in third most greatest element in moto's list which is 4 and third most smallest element in Tomo's list, which is five. Now it is an interesting case. If we swap these two elements, Tomo's score is going to decrease by one. Why? Because we are swapping five with four, and Moto's score is increasing by one here. So we cannot perform this swap. We we cannot afford this swap because this is decreasing the score of Tomo. so we can conclude that we can only swap the elements if the first of all if k k allows us k in the number of swaps allows allows us and the second of all condition is moto's element should always be greater than should be greater than that of tomo's element so we cannot swap 4 and 5 because 4 is less than 5 and this is going to decrease the score of tomo that's why we are not swapping here So it is quite obvious that we have to so first select the highest element. What we did, we did the first we select the highest element from Moto's list and the lowest element from the Tomo's list, and we try to swap them. Yes, this swap was possible, so we swap them. Then we select the second highest and the second lowest, and we swap them. So we we what we can do is we can sort the element of Moto's in decreasing order. So this will be eight, six. Four and three, and Tomo's element in increasing order. This will be one, five, five, and seven. Now we just have to look at the adjacent elements. Like we have to swap eight and one. Yes, we can swap this if the K allows us, and we next we will swap six and five. If the K allows us, and next we will swap. If K allows us, we we can swap four and five. But we are not going to swap these elements because four is less than five, and this is going to decrease the score of Tomo. So we will not perform this swap or the swap after it, because after it all the elements will be smaller of Moto's and that of Tomo's will be greater. So this will further decrease our chances of increasing the score of Tomo. So. we will not perform the swap after this condition so i think the approach is pretty much clear now let's look at the c++ implementation of this approach so here is the c++ implementation of this approach for each test case we are inputting n and k these two elements and then we are we have created two arrays of tomo and moto the elements that they have selected we have inserted these elements the first element to moto and then tomo and so on now we have sorted the motos list in decreasing order and that of tomo's list in increasing order as as explained in the approach now we will traverse through k elements first k elements and then we will check the condition that motos element should always be greater than should always be greater than that of tomo's elements and then only we are going to swap these two elements otherwise if this condition is not met we will break out of this loop 
at last we just have to check all the sum of all the elements of motos should always be less than that of tomos and if this condition is satisfied we will print yes otherwise we will print no i hope this solution will make sense to you and this solution may help you and thank you